What's up guys, Pat here, and we're back with another install, let's just say. Uh, last time I was here, put the wheels on, and my fenders definitely did not fit whatsoever. But I did do some mods where I had to like bash out the fender, and it works. Less the road. As you can see, I was already just murdering my tires for the most part. Murdering my tires. But if you didn't know, you can't actually flare out the fenders on a GD. You literally have to take a hammer to them and basically just beat the living crap out of them. But today, less of that, more of the front end. Front lip and fog light covers. So, long time due. And it does need some polish and paint. Definitely some paint if you see that over there. But let's get to the install. Probably would have been a good idea if I did this before I got into the car. So I had bought these clamps so I could um, clamp my fender flares on. <laughs> when I have to put them back on together. I should be getting a glue tomorrow by Dorsey, good friend of ours. Uh, but this will be good right now to test fit this before I bolt it in. It's like an extra, have an extra set of hands. Okay, so here we are. Front lip action. This side is missing a clamp, so it's a little lower than the other side. But I'm kind of feeling the way this looks. Let's back her up a little bit. I feel like it needs to come out more. Let's adjust that so it comes out a little more. Like, like here. Yeah, I'm feeling that a lot better. It's a little more flush on the side here. It like gets on the edge like that. And we're looking good. Obviously, see a little gap here, but again, no clip. Um, I do have these. Well, I have one of them, but they failed to send me them. Sketchy as fuck. Really feeling this look. I'm not gonna lie, uh, every car needs a front lid. It's an absolute must. But I'm, I'm happy she's coming together. Got the wheels, got the front lid. Uh, stage one looks um, complete. Uh, how to jump into stage two, and I'm not even gonna explain what that is yet, but I'm, I'm really happy the way she's going. It feels like I'm kind of rushing, but I'm not. I guess it's because I already know what I want. But for the most part, I found myself always trying to like complete my car, especially when I see like other people's cars and their cars are like super done up, finished, wheels, paint, everything's been touched, perfect, and they've had the cars for like 10 years. And I've had my car for like four months. And I'm out here trying to compete with cars that have been like meticulously like thought about. And I think I need to slow down, but for the most part, like, and this is what I do. I love to, you know, modify things and be creative and add my touch to it, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I am very happy with this, though. I am happy with the way it's coming along. Stage one aesthetics complete. Stage one visuals complete. You know how it is in the Subaru game. Staged everything. Uh, and I guess now I just got to drive around and have fun, I guess. But you know it's not ending there. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for watching, though. Pat out. Thank you. 